Well, new at six, a Maryland man who nearly died from a flesh-eating bacteria he got while fishing in the Chesapeake Bay says authorities need to do a better job about warning people about this. So this bacteria is called Vibrio, and it's surprisingly common, and summer is the season when it can be at its worst. Here's Scott Broom to tell us more. Al Geisler got my attention about this horrible flesh-eating bacteria in the water called Vibrio when he emailed me some truly shocking pictures. That was hell. Pure hell. They are so graphic we judge them too much for broadcast television, but we'll post them on our digital platforms if you must see. I mean, I'm glad that they saved my leg. Trust me, I'm glad they saved my leg. But there was days I wish I didn't have it. Here are some tamer photos from some other Vibrio cases, and we can show you how Al's leg has healed like a burn victim. Grafted skin over flesh that doesn't exist anymore, still painful. Had you ever heard of this stuff before? Never heard of it. Vibrio is common in the Chesapeake Bay. Al got it while fishing last summer out of Sandy Point State Park. He had a cut on his leg that came in contact with a wet fish, and that's all it took. Vibrio infects as many as 80,000 Americans a year, and it kills about 100. It has been increasing. Infections come from water contact on open wounds in places like the Chesapeake Bay, or you can get sick from eating undercooked or raw shellfish, particularly oysters. You'd think with 80,000 cases a year, Vibrio would be like a household name, but it isn't, and Al wants to change that. He wants signs to go up at boat ramps and beaches, same as the warnings to wear your life jacket, same as the warnings about ticks in some parks. Well, I think absolutely they, they need to advise or come up with some signage to, for everybody that, you know, this is a possible, it, it's out there. I just want people to be aware. I don't want anybody to have to go through what I went through. If you get a cut or a scrape, just get some alcohol, dab it, cover it, wash it up with some water when you get home, you'll be fine. But, you know, if you don't do that, then, you know, you could end up like me. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Maryland's Department of Natural Resources says it has Vibrio information signs up at some water access locations. DNR and Maryland's Health Department have extensive information about Vibrio posted online. We'll update you with responses when we hear back. In the meantime, we have some basic Vibrio prevention tips on WSA9.com and on our WSA9 app.